So how's it going everybody? So I got I have you guys here at the little back desk today. So I wanted to show you in the background, I always have my little Casio cans up here, but this is all the deal that I got at uh, Walmart, which goes to show you that you really shouldn't negate Walmart whenever you're walking around or driving around, start driving around looking for bargains, looking for deals, because you can find some really good deals at, at Walmart. And these little Casios are some of the deals that I found. COVID shopping, here we go. So these are them, I got five Casios. One of them is the Casio uh, Doro that we are doing on the giveaway. But either way, all of these watches that I got that I'm gonna show you here, they all came out to a total of 61 bucks and that was after tax. I think it was after tax, yeah. So the Casio Duro, which we've already talked about before, but you can find it in the description. It'll be in the video link. Uh, I'm sorry, in the description, it'll have a video link and it'll be a review for this one, which I'm also doing a giveaway on. I would like to actually start doing um, a regular giveaway of a Casio Duro because I think that this is just a phenomenal watch for the price and for what you're getting. 15 bucks is what I got this for. Normally priced at 59.99. This is the black band with the black dial and the gold trim around the bezel. And I am giving this one away on my other video. If you look on there, you'll see the instructions on how to win. It's pretty easy. Along with the NATO strap, which I installed on it for the video. And it really goes well with the watch. But check that one out. If you can, 15 bucks for the Casio Duro. I believe it's a MDV uh, 106, I think it is. I can't remember what the model number is for this one. But yeah, MDV 106 is the model number for the Casio Duro. So got that one, 15 bucks. Put that one right back here. The next one that we got was this little guy, which is pretty neat. This was $7 for this particular one right here. Seven bucks and this, and they're all Casios by the way, $7. This is a Casio 100 meters of uh, water resistance. And this is just your basic uh, chronograph. Nothing super special about this one. And let me see if I can get it. I'm gonna put different close-up pictures of all these also on uh, in the video here. But this is the MCW110H, seven bucks. That's what I got for this one. Retails for $39.99. I've seen it online selling for around $24, $25. I don't know if I'm going to give this one away as a Christmas gift, but either way, couldn't believe it, clearance seven dollars all right that's one of my favorites i'm gonna hold that one for last i like that one a lot too so the next one that i got here was pretty cool this is a solar one you can see it coming on here as uh as it powers up so this is a solar one it's got a battery but it also has a solar panel built into the dial there if you're not familiar with casio's solar technology it's pretty cool because it helps a battery on a watch last 10 years or longer. I've seen some Casio forums on Reddit where they're saying that they've had the same battery in their Casio watch now for 15 years, which is insane. But anyways, this has got five alarms. It does dual time, multiple time zones. It's got the solar feature. It has a stopwatch feature. This is the Alpha Q S810W. So A Q S is in Sam eight. 10W. And this is a pretty neat watch too. I like this one a lot. It's very lightweight, but what I'm not a big fan of is that the dial is so big on the wrist. Oh, and by the way, speaking of on the wrist, today I'm rocking my Pagani Designs Daytona Homage, which I did a review on that one also. So this solar, $7. Once again, $39.99, $39.92 retail. I've seen the solar one going for around $28, $29 right now on eBay. And I think it's a pretty good bargain for $28 or $29, let alone seven. That's insane. All right, this one's really cool. I like this one a lot, actually. This one I dig. I might keep this one because this is something that's kind of functional. I, I, I like what it can do. So this is the twin sensor. So this one has the thermometer and altimeter slash barometer. So this is kind of cool. It can tell you your altitude. It's got stopwatch. It's got multiple time zones. It has uh, alarms, water resistance. And I just like the 
the it has a oh yeah, built-in light but i really like the fact that it does the altimeter mode and it does the barometer mode so when the barometric pressure is a little bit high is it a little bit low i can't figure out which one it was but it can tell you whether it's likely to rain or not in fact the watch itself when it's in bar barometric pressure mode there it'll actually tell you if it's going to be a chance of rain or not because the little gauge will lean towards cloudy as opposed to lean on the other side which says fine and i'm guessing fine means no weather so pretty cool right now it says we're 220 feet above sea level which i don't know if that's true or not 72 degrees i actually keep my thermostat in my place at 72 degrees so that is right on par 11 bucks is what this one came out to 44 dollars is what it's retailing at 100 meters of water resistance twin sensor this one actually feels really good on the wrist it fits very comfortably i can't say i have any problems with this one great little watch it's the sgw 300h so sgw 300h twin sensor this is a really neat watch this one i might end up keeping for 11 dollars. i mean i think it's really really worth it 44 bucks and the last one the fifth and final watch is going to be my illuminator that's what i call it the illuminator that's what it says on the watch 17 dollars retails for 89 dollars and 92 cents i have seen this one now on um i've seen this one on ebay well actually it's really almost impossible to find this white one but i have seen one similar to it on ebay with a darker dial but the white dial or the silver dial like this one it has right here I mean, I can't find it. I've seen it going for $124 uh, a, a year ago or so. This is a really interesting looking watch. This one I'll probably end up getting rid of it. Um, it's called the Casio Illuminator. I like it, it's a beautiful watch. This is something that I think looks cool, especially if you're already re wearing black and white, right? Like this right here. But I don't dig the faceted bezel as much as I thought I would. It's just not, for me, It's that's not something I really like that much. Um, it's different, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that faceted bezel. Maybe you are, let me know in the comments. It has a great smooth action. How awesome is that? It's got a great action. Oh, I'm moving, I'm moving the hand by accident while I'm doing that, by the way. Day and date, it's got loom. It's not super bright loom. And it does have a really powerful actual built-in loom so let's do this i want to turn off this light right here just so you can see when i turn on this light here for the watch look how crazy bright that is this is the built-in push button loom i'm looking up at the camera's uh, screen there so this is the built-in loom how bright it is that is incredibly bright that's awesome i guess that's why they call it the illuminator anyways that's a cool feature. I like that. But uh, overall, I think I will end up getting rid of this one. I probably end up selling it for like 40 bucks or something, maybe, but $17, $40 sale, decent profit. The whole name of the game here is for me to be able to get up into a different watch and, you know, sell them and flip them, enjoy them a little bit, and then maybe get something better, create more content for the channel, right? But five watches, 61 bucks. Um, Walmart, don't pass up the yellow tags at Walmart when you see the yellow tags. They actually have whole sections in the back of Walmart. If you're not already familiar with this, they have whole sections in the back where they have all their clearance stuff anyways. But in their jewelry section, sometimes they'll have G-Shocks. They'll do things like that right before Christmas because they're trying to move out old inventory and make way for the new stuff that's coming in. And then sometimes after Christmas, they'll go about creating another sale to get rid of some stuff that they had too much of from Christmas. Let me know in the comments of what you think as far as this little semi-collection goes of Casios because I just love it. It's an awesome score. I mean, I couldn't be happier. I think this is just a, it's, yeah, I get all giddy. I'm like, yeah, I got a little watches. I love watches. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, bye.